a chicken drink? How can you send your voice in a letter through the post? And how can something going up be going down? sink a boat without getting it wet. You can't sink anything without getting it wet. Have you waterproofed your paper boat no, by waxing it? No, it's nothing to do with that. I think money on this one, gentlemen. 10p. Well, no, mm. it's the end of the series. You've cleaned us out. 5p. Five? Five. Five. Carol, will you That's take a, a check? Fant I'm afraid I'm broke. I hope it's for 10p. 5p? <laughs> Sorry. Ridiculous. That's all it's worth. All right, then here is my boat. Already the bottom is wet. Yes, Good well, start. You know what I'm talking about, Fred. Now, to sink something, you have to get it below... The waterline. The surface of the water. Below the waterline. This is indeed on the surface of the waterline at the moment, mm. is it not? Yes. Mm -hmm. OK. Now, if I put a jar with no holes in it over this, you can see what will happen. The boat and the water line inside the jar is going mm. down. Is going down below the other surface. Yeah. And what's happening is the air inside the jar is being compressed. And if I push it right down, it's pushing the water down. And the boat is almost sitting on the bottom of the tank. So now it is below the water line. line. And it has sunk. sunk. Exactly. But what? Is it wet? Is it wet? No, it isn't. If I take the jar away again, you can see that it is perfectly dry and perfectly in order. Thank you for the check. Thank you for the money. That is how you can sink a boat without getting it wet. I hope my check doesn't bounce. <laughs> um, how does a chicken drink? Look at these little fellas here. Lovely. Baby chickens, chicks. Aren't they nice? They are yes. Yes. beautiful. Well, the, the incredible thing about this is that actually I have a lot in common with a baby <laughs> chick. Yes, you're both foul. <laughs> boom, boom. Yes, Fred, thank you very much indeed. Well, what I was thinking was that, um, that neither of us can fly, right? True, yeah. yes. We've both got a set of uh, drumsticks. Oh, no. Yes. And we're both very cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's only your mother who says that. <laughs> but there is, in fact, one major difference between me and a chicken. There is something I can do that a chicken can't. Yeah. So what is it? Drive a car. Drive a car. Play a guitar Water really, ski. really badly. Well, what is it, then? What is this one thing, Gareth? What can I do that a chicken can't? Well, the answer <laughs> is this. I can drink upside down. Now, the reason why I can drink upside down is all got to do with the muscles in my alimentary canal. The alimentary canal is the tube that connects my throat via my stomach to the other end of my body. And when I eat, in goes a bolus of food, and the muscles are in that alimentary canal automatically start pushing the food down towards my stomach, or in this case, up towards my stomach, because of course, I am upside down. But this is not how chickens drink. Oh, no. You see, chickens drink by using gravity. Because when a chicken drinks, its alimentary canal doesn't have the ability to squeeze the muscles and squeeze the food down. So what it must do is bend down, sip or eat whatever it wants, lift its head up, and it falls down into the stomach. This is the routine. Down, sip, up, swallow. Down, sip, up, swallow. So how does a chicken drink? Certainly not upside down. He's clever. How can you send your voice in a letter through the post? Very simple how. Put it down on a cassette, put it in an envelope and post it. Carol, Very easy. Carol, I'm talking high-tech hows You here. are. It's unusual. A letter yes. through the post <laughs> to Carol. How strange. Yes. All you have to do, Carol, is press that little Where red dot there. Where it says squeeze there. here? OK. This is Fred Dyage wishing my favourite presenter, Carol Vorderman, a very happy Christmas and an even happier New Year. Oh, that's nice. Happy New Year to you, Fred. Thank you, Fred. 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 That's very I'm good. I'm so very pleased good you asked me. What you need for this, how is rather a clever digital voice recorder such as this. Now, to show you how it works, Carol, I want to record your voice on this machine, okay? Yeah. I turn the machine on, 
I'm going to record your voice in the microphone there. A sort of happy Christmas? Do you want me no, to sing? No, you're not, no, you're not like a great ad libber. We all no. know that. So I'd like you to read this script, this script. I've prepared for you yep. there and start speaking into the microphone yep. when I say. You've written this. Yes, when I say go. Okay. It is a great honour for me to work with the legendary Fred Dynage. I can't say this, Fred. Unfortunately, you just have. <laughs> now, what I've got to do is transfer the voice from the digital voice recorder onto this. Here I've got a chip with batteries and a sounding board, and at the bottom, an activating switch to make the whole thing work. So the first trick is to copy the message that Carol has just recorded, which will take roughly 10 seconds. And that, I think, will have done the trick. Let's find out how well it's worked by pressing the switch. It is a great honour for me to work with the legendary Fred Steiners. That's what I'm saying. Yes, Fred. Unfortunately, you do. <laughs> <laughs> what a con. And of course, you can package the whole thing up exactly as you want to, in a card mm. or just a letter mm. or a telegram, however you want. And that's how you send your voice in a letter through the post. Very nice. Now, how can something going up be going down? Here oh. I have a marble, put it in at the top. And can you tell me which direction the marble is travelling in? Down. Yeah, down. Definitely down? down. Oh, yes. yes. Definitely yes. down. down. All right, here I have a hill. Something travelling down a hill goes in which direction? Down. down. Correct. Now, on the side of the hill, I have this tube here. If I put a little ball bearing in at the top, this will go in what direction? Down. Down. And Boringly it comes out this at the other going. end, or should do. There we are. Thank you very much. Now, if I take this tube off the side of the hill, keeping the bottom of it level with the table, but this time I wrap it around this tube, mm -hmm. then I have created a sort of spiral hill, yes. have I not? Yes. OK. So, if I put a ball bearing in at the top this time, it yeah. will go... Down and down. around. Yes. Down. Yes. Correct. Yes, what about Absolutely going right. up? Ah, going up. Yes, <laughs> I was wondering up. when we get onto that little bit there. Well, going up and going down can be done both at the same time. Now, I take off uh, this little bit of the hill, and if I put the marble in, it still goes... Down! down. If I tilt it slightly, like so, and put the marble in at the bottom mm. and then begin to twist it, the yeah. marble keeps going down it's because, really, it will go because down. gravity is pulling, pulling it, it down. Yeah. to the bottom of that little bit. And yes. if I keep twisting it, it's still going. The, well, uh, oh. wait a minute. It's going down, but have you noticed it's actually, at the same time, gone all the way to the top of the hill. So it has also been going up. Oh. Uh -huh. Now, how? How? Well, this is known as the Archimedes screw, and the Greek scientist Archimedes put it to use by drawing water up a hill using exactly that, which was a sort of a spiral on a tilt. And we have a how version of an Archimedes screw over here. Here we have a hose going all the way up this incline, with the hoses open at the bottom, there's water in the tank here, and as I turn this, the water, just like the marble, keeps going to the bottom of the section of the hose. And if I keep turning it, it starts to come out at the top. And that is how something which is going up can also be going down. How can you make bird's nest soup without the soup? This is a good how if, like me, you're not too keen on soup and you don't like the twigs in the bird's nest. <laughs> it's also art you can eat. And what better? Hard boil some eggs. Yes. And when they are hard-boiled, wait for them to cool. Yeah. And when they are cool, get a spoon, this is a cool one, and tap a nice gentle pattern all over them. Right. Yes, yeah. with me yeah. so far? Yeah. Yes, right. Back in the water with which you cook them, add a little bit of food colouring <laughs> and let that nicely cool off. Okay. At the same time, while they are cooling off and getting nicely green, cook yourself some spaghetti, all right? Pop it on the plate and tease <laughs> that into a nice oh, bird's friend. nest type That's shape. So well yeah. presented. That's what I friend. said, it's art. It's that, all yeah. about <laughs> art. Yeah. Take out one of your eggs, yes. which will then look rather like that. Now take off the shell, and your food colouring has oh. produced beneath it oh. a most wondrous, 
like a marbled, marbled effect. Yeah. Well it's said, safe Carol. to eat. Completely safe to That's eat. It's just beautiful. food colouring. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, that is and nice. here comes the real art of the how. You've made a lovely bird's nest yeah. with your eggs on top. And that's how you can have art you can eat and bird's nest soup without the soup. Yum, yum. That is beautiful, Fred. Well done. Well, well Fred. a sad moment. So we come to the last how of hopefully the present series. And as usual, it's a how we know little or nothing about, genuinely. Except, Toppy, I think you know a bit about it. <laughs> I know a great deal about this how. Go on. Welcome, Norman McLean. The how, of course, is how do you play the bagpipes? Oh. Come over here. Come over here. <laughs> Norman, beautiful. Thanks for piping us out of how. Tremendous. Now then, um, these, what kind of pipes are these? These are the Great Highland Bagpipes. Oh, the yes. Great Highland Bagpipes. And how long does it take to learn to play the pipe? Oh, about, I'll have it down another 45 years. <laughs> You're <laughs> not there, yes. <laughs> would you like to learn? Yeah, I would love to learn. Now, yeah. what is the technique? Because we're going to have a go at playing the bagpipes. Right. right. Well, I would have thought. We're full of hot air, so we've got a head start. <laughs> Choose your instruments. <laughs> right. Ah, oh, instruments chosen. Right. Which bit do you blow down? Now, yeah. that's the one. Right, Carol, Which one? That's the blow pipe. This that's one's our right. yeah. oh, yeah. Fred, put the drones over your left shoulder. Yeah, right. 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 Over the left shoulder, inflate the bag. Yeah. What, by blowing? Put your left, oh, yes, God. put your left hand on the chanter. That produces oh. the melody. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, uh, other way, that's how they're Go on, Carol. Straight. Down, down. Okay, let that go down. That's it. Oh. Fred, go, on, Fred. Go, on, Fred. Fred. Well done, Fred. Fred, Fred. Fred. Well done. Don't sell your accordion. <laughs> Go on, Carol, Carol you Carol, can do it. Get a note out. Seriously, get a note out. Oh, we're going. Sorry, not to work. Gareth, the honour of the programme, Scotland the Brave. Indeed. So that's how you play the bagpipes, and that. Got it, got it, got it. Oh. Uh, well, little thing I forgot to tell you. Yeah. If you want to be a piper, you yeah. have to join a pipe band. Oh. And there's one for you. There's the Barton and Justice oh. Pipe Band Juvenile. Brilliant! <laughs> Oh, no!